Okay, now what we're going to do, since we trimmed this down a little bit to the side, we did each corner, we're going to take our, our finger, lean it up against it, and then we're going to mark about a quarter of an inch down. We're going to mark this whole thing all the way around. I wet it with a little bit of uh, water and um, rubbing alcohol. It's just a little easier for me to cut. Okay. I always do it. I find it works out pretty good. Alright, so now what we're going to do is I'm going to take my V tool, my V3, uh, not my V3, but this is a 4.5. I do these, I do have these available, okay? Um, if you're interested, what I do is I go right along that line. Now when I, when I carve with this, I just make sure my thumb's on the, that I can't go any further. I'm, I'm working with this part of my hand. Alright. You notice I'm taking little strokes out. That's a little easier than trying to do it all at one time. And then you can get a little bit deeper too when you do it that way. Kind of dig it out a little bit. Okay. So there's our hat. Of course, that's got to come down quite a bit. Then I put a stop cut all the way around. Let me do it back here so I can see it a little bit better. Okay. Once I, I do my stop cut all the way around, then I go ahead and chip this out. Or I can slice it out. And you keep working that out until you get that really to this size, okay? It takes a little bit of time. When you get that done, then I, I, I go upward and even it out a little bit more, okay? And then I score it again, or score it, or put another stop cut in. I just need to be able to hang on to it when I do this, so that's why I'm doing it back here. Okay, so what I'm doing is just taking my knife and taking it all the way around. Alright. Now I do it again. I just take more out. Okay, and then I'll take that again. And I work my way to the top, and I keep rounding it. Keep cutting it out. And you keep going as deep as you have to go to get that down to where you need it to be. Alright, I'll do some of that offline until I get it down one or two more times. Alright, so, but what you want to do when you get it down to where you're comfortable with how wide it is, what you want to do is, um, I'll show you the final, that's almost as close as I want to get, but I want to get to something else. We'll come back to this, okay? So after we get that done, and then you round off your top to it, okay, after you're all done. It's not done yet, but uh, you want to kind of blend your, your pieces together a little bit. So there's no hard edges. What I mean by hard edges is this, a square edge, okay? So there's no hard edges anywhere. I guess that's my terminology. Alright, so here... Um, and the other thing you want to do is make sure you take all the rough stuff off everywhere because you're always going to have some flat planes flat area here, flat one here, here because of course it stays square, okay? So the next thing we're going to do is draw on where his nose is going to be alright, so if you look at it we measure with this, it's probably another you want to go about maybe halfway between the hat and the bottom, okay? And what I do here is I actually draw the, um, oh, I'm sorry, I'm, we gotta do something else first. What I do is go about, oh, down to here somewhere, for as, as long as I want that, and do a little V cut. There's the ear, okay? Alright, 
and then I'm going to round it here a little bit and I'm going to round it over here a little bit All right now I'm going to the way we draw this on and let me take this other one hat I have we're going to draw this out and around and where the eyeball will go all right so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to first clip this out I'm just going to do a little V cut here a little V cut and I'm going to flatten this out a little bit because this is actually part of his nose I'll be right back.